All right, 2003 Yamaha 40 horse. I'm going to call this video a, a timing belt, but that's not that's not the problem I have. The problem I originally had with this motor was that the uh, the starter went out on it. So I originally, uh, my, my original starter went out. I bought a an Amazon starter that lasted about a year and a bit, and then it just imploded on itself. And uh, so my last few trips out, I've been rope starting it, and, uh, and that's getting old pretty quick. So, uh, but while I was doing that, I noticed this timing belt and a lot of play in that timing belt. I almost thought that it was missing a tensioner because there was so much play like that slap you can see that when it's running so I had the shroud off of it so I could see that and uh, I didn't love it so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, replace that and I'll put the new starter in I'll, uh, I'll show you the parts that I do have went to the Yamaha dealer and uh, got some parts there's a new starter there's a part number for the belt Belt. That one's good for, I think she said 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 horse. The older 60 horses for sure. But uh, I'm not sure about the newer stuff, but you can cross check that. This is a 2003, this motor. There's my shroud. I've had that off for, for weeks now because I can't uh, rope start it with it. So there's, there's a part number on that starter and the belt. There's a price on the starter, if you can believe that. 606 bucks for a starter and $99 for a belt. So that's all Canadian. I looked at these, uh, I looked at that starter in the uh, in US to see if I could get it shipped out of the States and uh, I think it was about 379 or something, but I couldn't get it. So they, they had it at Yamaha Canada. So I ended up paying the price because it's, uh, it's fishing season and uh, I'm already. I didn't care at this point. I just, I just didn't care. Just put a motor, just put a starter in it, and uh, and get back fishing. I'd, I'd rather just do that than I, I didn't want to put another Amazon starter in it and have the same problem. So, so that's a minor. Three bolts, and you got a starter in. Three bolts, and you connect your your power supply back up, and you should be good there. The timing belt isn't going to be uh, isn't going to be too tough either. We're just going to set it to top dead center. We're going to line up the line up the arrows. I don't even think you need to set it to top dead center. You just need to make sure that you know your flywheel doesn't move and your and your uh, camshaft, you know your camshaft and your flywheel don't move independent of each other. But we'll set it to top dead center, and, uh, and then we'll knock that flywheel off and. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to pull the stator out as well. We'll move that aside and uh, replace that belt. And hopefully it's a tighter belt, like a better fit than here. I double checked to make sure that there's not a tensioner in here. And the smaller, the smaller horsepower motors don't have it, but like the 50s and 60s and 70s all have a tensioner in there that uh, that hold tension on that belt. So hopefully it fixes it. If it doesn't, it's it's a, it's a good thing to do. So we'll uh, let's get set up and. Uh, and we'll get that flywheel off and see what we can find. Okay, we'll set top dead center. Okay, I've lined up the two arrows. There's a small arrow down in here. I've lined up that arrow. So, put a mark, put a mark. I'm also going to find a spot to put a mark on the flywheel. I think maybe there's an arrow here that I'll line up with that. If it's lined up. Yeah, so then we could go ahead and pull that, pull that nut. 30 mil.
Okay, I tried like hell to find a to find my puller for that, and I cannot find it. So all you need is a three a three uh, three leg puller. I don't have that, so you guys know what I'm gonna do. So if you're if you're squeamish about it, look away. check double check that nothing's moved I thought I heard something drop and I did my key there's a woodruff key there Make sure you get that. That's the key on this side. And I'll show you that in a minute. And I feel like this has been taken apart before because these these bolts are normally Phillips heads, so somebody's probably stripped those out, I'm trying to trying to get it out without using a without using an impact. You want to use like an impact screwdriver to knock these out. So somebody's obviously been in here before and screwed that up. So that that belt, I definitely have a feeling that's the wrong belt, or it's an aftermarket belt or something. So I'll grab some keys and we'll pop these out, and we'll get that stator pulled away, and then we can change that belt. it costs but judging by the starter I'm guessing it's an expensive part looks like this belt has a small tear in it too so it's probably
So the name of the game here is not to... that belt is now. I feel much better about that. I'm going to use a little blue Loctite on these bolts. and put it on that just a little bit on that key to hold it in place for me verify that that key is there. So I'll go back and torque that, uh, torque that down to spec. Um, I'll put up on the screen what the torque spec is because I don't know it right now, so. So, that's all there is to it. I just need to put the shroud back on, but I'll do that after I uh, install this starter and then we'll see if we can start this thing up and run it. Okay, I got my starter on. Everything's connected and I've... Uh, Turn my power back on. So we can go ahead and put some muffs on this.
All right. I'm going to uh, go ahead and throw my cowling back on. Throw my cowling back on. I'll throw the, uh, the shroud and the cowling back on. And uh, I'm going to let this run for a bit and uh, just make sure we're going to uh, head out in a couple, a couple of days to do another trip. So I want to make sure everything's good. So there it is, timing belt in a 2003 40 horse Yamaha. I'm pretty sure that the 20s, 30s, 40s are all the same. They're all the ones that don't have the, the tensioner in them. In the uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, I'll have a little tensioner in them. Pretty sure that's how it works, but super easy fix if you. Uh, if you ever need to do it or it's just a routine maintenance thing, don't uh, don't be afraid to try it because it's not that difficult. The hardest thing is uh, is uh, well, the most important thing is just keeping those keeping the cam and the and the crankshaft in the same position when you pull that belt off as when the, the new belt goes on. But other than that, everything's pretty uh, pretty simple. So with that, I appreciate you watching, and until uh, the next time.